Hello. Hey. Are you up for a visit? Sure. As long as it's an honest visit and not another lecture about Ethan. Ethan who? I just came here to check on my sister. I actually need your advice. You know, my wedding's like, oh, I don't know, just a few weeks away, and I have about a thousand decisions to be made. Wait, I thought Maxie was taking over everything for you guys. Yeah, Maxie taking over is the operative word. Um, I would still like to have my hand in on some of the decision making, so I thought that maybe you and I could work on this together for fun. Fun? Fun. <laughs> Since when is picking out place settings fun for you? Well, since Jason is feeling better. And, you know, he's pretty sincere about it, he wants to do it, but I know it's slow torture for him, and it is actually pretty painful to see him fake it for my sake. Yeah, so is watching you fake this. Yeah, you're just worried that I might get some bad news today, so you're trying to distract me. I really do need your help, and I thought a little wedding prep might take your mind off things. You guys are way more worried about this than I am. Uh -huh. I feel fine. The thing that I'm worried about the most is what I'm missing on campus. I'm supposed to be forging lifelong friendships, or at the very least, getting to know some of the people in my class. It's good. Maybe you're starting to like PCU a little bit better than you thought you would. Well, it's not Yale, but it's where I wound up, and I'd like to, I don't know, be a normal freshman, figuring out the campus and buying my books. Maybe making a few friends instead of being pointed out as Sonny Corintha's daughter or the girl who's hospitalized her first week. Well, after what Patrick did for Jason, I'm sure he's going to be able to fix you right up. Speaking of Jason, yes. let's talk about the wedding. Okay. Did you get your dress picked out? Not yet. That is the first <laughs> and most important element. They need time to get it ready. But. What about this one? I like it. You like it? Yeah. It's, it's beautiful. And it would go great with those bridesmaids dresses I showed you before. Okay. All right. That, I, I love it, actually. I'll, I'll get it fitted right away. It's cute. Wow. What? So you really are worried about me. What are you talking about? This dress is hideous. It's covered in feathers. It's something that, like, Lady Gaga would wear to a funeral. Thank God you were only joking. <laughs> you seriously would have worn this yes, just to distract me? Of course me? I would have. It's just a dress. I would have done it. Just a dress? Yeah. Sam, this is your, your dream wedding. Let's focus on what you want, okay? I already have what I want. Jason is okay. He is all I need. You don't want to... Hey, Taylor! As your, as your date to the wedding. Yeah. Do you have room for everyone to bring somebody? Room? Well, I haven't exactly done the seating chart yet, or even made a guest list. Maxie's helping me with that. But yeah, sure, you can take Taylor. I think that's a good idea. I am not taking Taylor. Yeah. I haven't even talked to him since he went off to Brown. Okay, okay. I just thought he was cute. He is cute. Of course you think he's cute, because he's nothing like Ethan. Oh. Please tell me you did not put her up to this. Me? No, I, didn't I swear. Say I didn't say anything. Did I say anything? No. No, I, I didn't. Hi, ladies. Hi. Christina, I uh, have your test results. Uh, why don't we talk about it in the hall? No, Mom, it, I want to know what's going on. It's my body. She's of age, Alexis. I'm obligated to discuss them with her. And I can tell by the look on your face that whatever it is, it isn't good. Tests indicate there's a bone fragment impinging on your vertebral artery, and it's interrupting the blood flow to your brain, which is causing the head rushes and the dizziness. Uh, how did this happen? Did it just break off or something? Uh, in most cases, it's caused from trauma. For instance, do you play sports? Not for years. I am taking a yoga class at PCU. Yeah, I'm thinking more along the lines of volleyball, basketball, oh, hard she floor, was more into academics and bad school. fall. Yeah, debate team isn't exactly a contact sport. Hey, what do we have to do here? Well, it's going to require surgery. Surgery. So what are the risks? In Christina's case, we would go through the back of the neck. We would locate and remove the bone fragment. Back of the neck? It's not as bad as it sounds. But it is surgery. Worst case scenario is nerve damage, which could possibly lead to paralysis. 
Well, we don't have to make any decision about this right now. We have time to talk about it, and I haven't reached your father yet, so... Dad doesn't get to decide. He still needs to be contacted. Well, what if I don't want him here? I'm gonna let you guys discuss this. Christine, I'll be back. Can you call Ethan? I really need to talk to him. Ethan. Oh, honey, honey I, 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 this is, Ethan is not part of the family at this point. Ethan is my friend, and I can talk to him if I want. <sighs> Sorry, it's. I can be myself with Ethan, and he understands me, and he gives good advice, and. I don't have to worry about disappointing him. You do not have to worry about disappointing me. You were disappointed when I didn't get into Yale. Honey, I was disappointed that they didn't accept you because they should have, and I was disappointed that I built up all your hopes and it didn't happen. Can you just please call Ethan? I really want him here. Okay, that's fine. Yes, can you call Ethan? Yeah. Oh, of course. We still need to talk to your father. Why? So it can give him an excuse to, to get all worked up and kill someone like he did to Jax? Honey. Do you really want Dad's latest disaster on your conscience? Because I don't. Me? You rang? Hey. I wasn't sure if you could come. Yeah, well, here I am. What's going on? I need you to be honest with me about something. No, uh, if this is a thing, we've already talked about it. Come not on. that. I know that you're not interested in me, okay? Okay. Um, but if you were, would it matter to you if I was in a wheelchair? Wait, what? What are you talking about? Why don't you just tell me what's going on? You have to answer the question. Okay, fine. Um, I guess, I mean, if you love somebody, a wheelchair doesn't matter, right? So what is going on? Patrick says that I have to have surgery. There's this bone fragment that's pressing on my spinal cord and needs to be taken out. If something goes wrong... I could become paralyzed. Well, that is a pretty big if. All right, uh, that's like a worst case scenario, right? And we're talking, we're talking about Patrick Drake. I mean, he's he's the best surgeon in the hospital. Hey, well, what would you do if you were in my shoes? Christina, I can't make this choice for you. I know, but you can help me decide. That's what friends do, right? Yeah, okay. Well, if Patrick says you need the surgery, I would get the surgery. But what if something goes wrong? You see, you can't think like that. You can't talk like that. Okay? I mean, obviously, this bone fragment is a big deal, right? And if it was me, I'd want it out of there. I guess you're right. Of course I'm right. Well, I'm always right. Stop. <laughs> Stop what? Being all cute. I'm not supposed to like you, remember? Oh, right. Sorry. You have to promise me something, too. Uh-oh. Okay, what? If I go through with the surgery, you have to promise that you'll dance with me at my sister's wedding. Even if I'm in a wheelchair. Excuse me. Hi, uh, have you... Hi. 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 I'll be back here so soon. Well, Christina made a decision. You didn't want to talk to me first? You can relax, Mom. I'm going through with the surgery. <sighs> Good. What, who made you change your mind? I just realized that I have a lot to look forward to.